Search for Dr. Panda. Oh! Yay! <laughs> This looks like a nice shady spot for our picnic, guys. Cool, Dr. P. I sure am looking forward to my sandwich. Mm. Yum! Wow, that is a big sandwich, Ziggy. <laughs> I've got more in my sandwich than Ziggy. <laughs> looks like Ziggy has more in his sandwich now, Bip. Why don't we look at all the sandwiches and see who has less and who has more? <laughs> we all have sandwiches with cheese and tomato. Let's look at Toto's sandwich. <laughs> Toto's sandwich has two slices of bread and one slice of cheese. My sandwich has two slices of bread two slices of cheese, and one slice of tomato. Bip's sandwich has two slices of bread, four slices of cheese, and two slices of tomato. Ziggy's sandwich has two slices of bread, six slices of cheese, and three slices of tomato. We all have the same number of slices of bread, but we each have different numbers of cheese slices and different numbers of tomato slices. Bip, Ziggy, and I all have more cheese in tomato than Toto. Mm -hmm. And Bip and Ziggy both have more <laughs> cheese in tomato than I do. And Ziggy has more cheese and more tomato than Bip. So, I don't have more of everything in my sandwich? Nope. You have less than Ziggy. Did you know that there's a special way to write how much more or less you have? Huh? <laughs> I'll show you. Bip has four slices of cheese in his sandwich and Ziggy has six. How many more slices of cheese does Ziggy have? <laughs> you got it! And that means Bip has two less than Ziggy. These special arrows mean more than and less than. So we can use them to write two tomatoes is less than five tomatoes. Or we can write four slices of tomatoes is more than one slice of tomato. So I don't get to eat the biggest sandwich? <laughs> nope. But your sandwich still looks awesome, Bip. <laughs> yeah, and there's something I definitely have more of than any of you. Hi. <laughs> ah, don't worry, Ziggy. There's more than enough for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, Toto, it sure is a lovely day for the... As I was saying, it sure is a lovely day for the... Olette. What's all this trash doing on the beach? There's not even a clear spot for us to put down our beach towels. Will you be able to clean it all up by yourself, Olette? No worries, Olette. Let's call our friends and ask them to help. If we make a game of it, we'll have the beach cleaned up in no time. <laughs> Yay! Game! All right, guys. Whoever fills up the most trash bags wins the game. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. Poopa has collected four cans. And Moo has collected five cans. Uh-oh. That last can was that little crab's house. Now Moo only has four cans. Koopa and Moo 
have the same number of cans. <laughs> nice work, Meme. You've already filled four trash bags. You filled two bags, Bip. That's fewer bags than Meme. Better get to it if you want to win this game. Whoa, Bip, that's awesome! You have five bags! Now May May has fewer bags than Bip. <laughs> Haste makes waste, Bip. Better start over. Awesome work, Toto! Toto has collected five bottles. And Ziggy has zero bottles. That means Toto has more bottles than Ziggy. Come on, Ziggy. You can do better than that. Well, I, I suppose that counts. Now you have one bottle in your trash bag. Thanks for putting it in the bag and not throwing it in the ocean. All right. Let's see who has filled up the most bags with trash. Moo has two bags. And Koopa has two bags. They have the same number of bags. Meme has four bags, which is more than Moo or Hoopa. But Bip has collected five bags. That's more than Meme. Ziggy has only got one bag of trash, which means he has collected less than everyone else. And Toto has collected six bags. Toto is the winner! Because you're the winner of the game, Toto, you get two more scoops than everyone else. Yay! Thanks for cleaning up the beach, guys. It looks beautiful again. Hey there, Moo. Are you ready to sell your cupcakes? Oh, I see. You've got different numbers of cupcakes in the boxes so everyone can ask for the number they want. Oh, you got your first customer already. Ah, looks like Hoopa's super hungry, Moo. He wants four cupcakes. <laughs> Hoopa's decided he'd like one more cupcake, please, Moo. Uh-oh, that box is empty, Moo. You've given Hoopa zero cupcakes. The first box Moo gave Hoopa had four cupcakes in it. The second box Moo gave to Hoopa had nothing in it. That means there are zero cupcakes in the second box. Four plus zero is... Yep! Four. Zero means nothing, so no more cupcakes have been added. <laughs> Hoopa sure loves your cupcakes, Moo. They're nearly all gone. Hi, Dr. P. Hi, Moo. Uh, I would like to have a box of three of your most awesome cupcakes, please. <laughs> Oh, awesome! Phew, Moo! You had enough boxes, and now there's only one box left. Oh! Oh, Moo, thanks, but, uh, I can really only eat three cupcakes. Are you sure you don't want an extra cupcake, Bip? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, Dr. P. Oh! Oh! But there's nothing inside. Let's see what happens when you take zero away from something. The first box Moo gave to Bip had three cupcakes in it. 
The second box Moo gave to Bip was a box with nothing in it. That means there are zero cupcakes in the second box. Bip gave the box back to Moo, so he took zero away from what he had. Three take away zero is... Hey, yep, three. Zero means nothing. So nothing has been taken away from Bip's box of cupcakes. Zero. <laughs> You're right. There are zero cupcakes left, Toto. But I think there might be a few in the chicken's tummies. <laughs> They're so hungry. The smell of pumpkin pie is awesome! Yum, yum! There's nothing better than sharing a nice slice of pie with your friends on a sunny day. Hold on, Toto. We need to work out how we're going to share this pie between us. Share? Yep. Look here. Do you know how Toto and I can share this tasty pie equally between us? Awesome! Let's start with the shape of the pie. Do you know what shape the pie is? <laughs> That's right! It's a circle! A circle can be divided into many equal parts. But since it's just Toto and I, we can divide the pie into two equal parts. It sure is nice to share a piece of pie with your friends. Yay! Share! Share! Oh! Hi there, Mei Mei! Hi, Bip! Hey, Dr. P! Hey. That pie looks really good! Yep, it does! Share? Good idea, Toto! Let's share our pie with our friends! Cool, ah. thanks! But is there enough for all of us? Sure there oh. is! We'll just divide it into more equal parts. That way, everyone can get a piece of the pie. Yeah, yeah. Cool! Do you know how we can divide this pie into four equal parts? That's right! We can divide the pie through the center again. So two equal parts become four equal parts. Now we have enough for everyone! Ah, it sure is nice to share a piece of pie with your friends! Yummy! Oh! Hi there, Hoopa! Uh, would you like to share this piece of pie, Hoopa? Do you think we can still divide this piece equally? Yes, we can! We just need to cut it straight down the middle. <laughs> yep! It sure is nice to share a piece of pie with your friends! Friends! Huh? Share! Sure, Toto. We can share this piece equally, too. Hmm, let's see. If we cut this piece down the middle, we can still get two equal parts. There we go. A piece of pie for your friend, Toto. Oh, it sure looks delicious. More oh, friends! Friends! Whoa, Toto has a lot of friends. It's okay, Toto. I can still share this piece of pie. But what about you, Dr. P? You won't have any pie left. No worries, Pip. I've just remembered something. I brought another pumpkin pie. That's enough pie for everybody. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Leo. Ready to eat? <laughs> Let me go through today's menu with you. Today we're serving salads, vegan burgers, 
and my favorite, super special ice cream sundaes. <laughs> ah, so you want the super special ice cream sundae. Good choice, Leo. I'll be right back with your ice cream after taking the rest of the orders. What would you like to order today, Moo? Chickens! Uh, Moo, we don't have any chicken on the menu. Oh, you want the salad. No worries, Moo. One vegan burger. Oh, you'd like a salad instead of a burger? <laughs> so you want the burger as well. No worries. One salad and one vegan burger coming right up. So what'll it be, June? A super special ice cream sundae. Awesome choice, June. Coming right up. A vegan burger for you, Ziggy. <clears throat> I see. You want three vegan burgers. Hi, Bip. I've got all the orders here. Uh, Dr. P, can you tell me how many of each dish I need to make? <laughs> no worries, Bip. We sure can. Now that we've got all the orders, can you help count how many of each dish Bip needs to make? Awesome! So, now we know what everyone has ordered, let's add up the dishes in each column and see what the total number is for each dish. We have a total of one, two, two salad orders. We need one, two, three, four. Four burgers. And we have one, two, two orders of the super special ice cream sundae. Okay, Bip. So now you know how many of each dish you need to make. Cool. Thanks, Dr. P. There you go, Leo. One super special ice cream sundae. It sure is a lot of ice cream for one person. Bip, we're missing one super special ice cream sundae for June. Uh-oh, Dr. P. We're all out of ice cream. June, I'm so sorry. We don't have any more super special ice cream sundaes. Oh, that's very nice of you, Leo. Oh, that sure is a special Sunday. Enjoy your ice cream. <laughs> that was an awesome basketball game, Dr. P. Toto did some great moves. We should have filmed it. Yeah. Shall I get some drinks for us, Bip? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dr. P. Hey, Toto, check out this new game I got on my tablet. It's the coolest game ever. Yay! Uh, hang on. I just need to put in my password number. Okay. Uh-oh. I can't remember my password. Don't worry, I have all my passwords safely written on this piece of paper. <laughs> Ice cold drinks all round. Uh -oh. Whoa, looks like you need a towel to dry you off, Bip. Oh no, I can't read the last numbers. Can you remember what they were? No, but I remember that I used a pattern. No worries, Bip. We'll help you figure out the pattern you used. Pattern? 
A pattern is something that repeats itself, Toto. Oh! Can you help Bip figure out his password? Awesome! Looks like Bip is using a number pattern for his password. All we need to do is figure out what the last two numbers of the password are. <laughs> cool! Let's see if we can find the pattern in these numbers. 251 251 2 So the numbers are repeating themselves after every third number. 2 Five, one, two, five, one. Do you know what comes after the two? Juice! <laughs> That's true, Toto. There is a lot of juice after number two, but we are looking for the next numbers in the pattern. Um, five, one. Let's try it out. Two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, and one. Yes! We're in! Yay! Oh, cool. Thanks, Dr. P. I got some more juice. I'm just going to show Toto another game. It's really awesome, and it's about numbers, too. Um. Uh-oh, Bip. Looks like we've got to work out another number pattern. Okay. But what about another game of basketball Yay! first? <laughs> yeah. Hi there, Moo. Are you all ready for the fruit swap day? <laughs> awesome! Hiya, Dr. P. Hiya, Toto and Moo. Oh, look at all this yummy fruit. What did you guys bring to swap? We have some super sweet strawberries. Oh, nice. I brought a juicy apple. Mmm, I sure would like to have some of those strawberries. Sure thing. Have a look at Moo's sign to see how many strawberries you will get for one apple. Uh, I'm not sure. No worries, Bip. We'll help you figure it out. Can you help Bip figure out how many strawberries he can get for one apple? Awesome. Let's take a look at Moo's exchange rate. Okay, so... One watermelon equals four apples. One apple equals two oranges. And one orange equals three strawberries. Bip has one apple. Apple. Bip wants to swap his apple for some strawberries. But how many strawberries can Bip get for his one apple? Let's see if we can figure it out. We know Bip can get three strawberries for one orange. And we know Bip can get two oranges for one apple. So, one orange equals three strawberries. And Bip can get two oranges for his one apple. Each orange is worth three strawberries. So, if Bip swaps his one apple for two oranges, and each orange can be swapped for three strawberries, then how many strawberries can Bip get for two oranges? Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right! If we add up all the strawberries, we have six strawberries. Two oranges can be swapped for six strawberries. 
So if one apple equals two oranges and two oranges equals six strawberries, we can say one apple is equal to six strawberries. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Moo. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Hey, Hoopa! That's an awesome-looking watermelon. What are you going to swap it for? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Moo, what can you swap for some strawberry jam? <laughs> Hi, Hoopa! Hi, Olette! Are you waiting for Bip's bus to arrive? Oh, what's the matter, Olette? Is the bus late? Hmm, where could Bip be? Bip! Bip! Wake up! Did you forget you're driving the bus today? Well, you'd better hurry up! Your passengers are waiting! Here comes the bus, guys! Bip's bus has room for eight people. Can you help Bip keep count of his passengers? Here we go. Hoopa's on board. That's one. And Olette makes two. Now Bip has two passengers. All right. On to the next stop, Bip. Here are some more passengers waiting to board the bus. Let's keep counting Bip's passengers. That makes three, four, five, and that's six. Now Bip has six passengers on his bus. So first we had two passengers on the bus. Then four more passengers came on board. And when you add two and four together, you get... Six! Let's get back on the road, Bip! Hmm, there's no one waiting to get on at this bus stop, but maybe someone needs to get off. Aha! This is Hoopa's stop. He's off to work. Okay, everyone, let's count how many passengers are left now Hoopa has gotten off the bus. There were six passengers on the bus, but one of them got off. Do you know how many people are still on board? Yep, that's right! Five! Now there are five passengers on the bus! Great job! On to the next stop, Bip! There's Moo and her chickens! Hi, Moo! Are you taking the bus to the farmer's market? Uh-oh, Bip! There's a problem! There aren't enough seats for everyone! There's only room for eight passengers! Ah! Looks like Bip has an idea! Awesome! Now Moo can go to the farmer's market with all of her chickens! Hey there, Hoopa! Have you been tinkering with your Hoopatron again? What does it do now? That looks like a speedometer! It shows you speed! The higher the number, the faster you go! Whoa! Your Hoopatron's made that snail super speedy! Can your Hoopatron make things go slower too? <laughs> I don't think that snail wants to go slowly again, Hoopa! Ooh, look! Pizza delivery! What's the matter, Hoopa? Has it gone cold? No worries, Hoopa! Bip can go and get you a fresh, hot pizza! Hey, Bip! 
Do you want Hoopa to make you go super fast with his Hoopatron? Okay, here it goes. How are you feeling, Bip? Whoa! Wow, that really was fast. You've got another pizza order. Ziggy wants a pizza. Uh, I would be careful using that speeding machine again, Bip. You don't want to go too fast. Maybe we should follow Bip and make sure he doesn't run into trouble, Hoopa. Watch out, Ziggy! Here comes Bip's pizza delivery! Oh no! Bip can't stop! Hoopa, you and Ziggy can drive after him in Ziggy's car! Follow that pizza! Hoopa and Ziggy need to reach Bip. Bip's speed is 80. Ziggy is going 50. Who is going faster? Bip, Bip. That's right, Bip! Because 80 is more than 50. So Ziggy needs to drive faster to reach Bip. Step on it, Ziggy! Ziggy's speed went up to 100. Now who's going faster? Ziggy, that's right! Quick, guys! Use Hoopa's Hoopatron to make Bip slow down! Great! I guess you've had enough of being fast for today, huh, Bip? Is it still hot, Ziggy? Just remember that it's best to eat your food slowly. <laughs> Mimi's shopping for her party this afternoon, so let's see what she needs to buy. One pineapple, two bottles of apple juice, three lollipops, four balloons, and five party hats. All done? Awesome! Now you can pay Richie at the cash register. Maybe you should check you haven't forgotten anything, Maymay. Uh-oh, your phone is out of batteries. No worries, Maymay. It's a good thing I used my memory to store your list. <laughs> it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Maymay count her groceries? Let's get started. Let's see, Maymay needs one pineapple. How many pineapples are there? That's one! One pineapple! Oh, careful, Richie! Pineapples can be prickly. May May needs two bottles of apple juice. Let's count how many she has. One. Hmm. Hmm. You only have one bottle of apple juice, May May, but you need two. Now you have two bottles! <laughs> awesome! May May needs three lollipops. Can you count how many she has? One, two... Uh-oh! May May needs three lollipops, but she only has two. So how many lollipops is May May missing? You got it! May May needs one more lollipop. Quick as you can, May May. You don't want to keep the other shoppers waiting. Here we go. Three lollipops. All right. May May needs four balloons. Let's count how many she has. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Okay, the last item on May May's list are the five party hats for her guests. Huh? But where are the party hats, May May? Oh, I get it. You've invited everyone to your party. One, two, 
three, four hats. Hang on, where's the fifth party hat? Oh, <laughs> looks like we can have the party right here. Yeah! Search for Dr. Panda.